what's poppin' boss game? Welcome back to CEO Prince Reaction, man. Hey, like I told y'all, man, I really appreciate appreciate y'all for supporting me um, when I was ghost for a little minute, you know what I'm saying? I really appreciate it, but we back and we on it like crazy, you know what I'm saying? Thank y'all for the 877 subscribers, man. We almost there to the 1K, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, it's not even y'all fault no more. We, I'm not at 1K yet because I keep... I keep putting things off. Like, I need to get on it as soon as it happens. You get what I'm saying? So, with that being said, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button if you're new to this channel. And if you're not new to the channel, you know what you do, man. Just hit that comment section. Let me know what videos you want me, want me to react to. And like this video, man. Give it a thumbs up. You know what I'm saying? Let's get right into it. Uh, this is I Am Lil Perfect and Tay. What happened between me and Tay? Uh, basically, they broke up. Now, I know I'm like a week late. Like, this video was posted like a week ago. I'm late. I'm late. But, you know, I got to get my input. I just want to see what's going on. Y'all know I love watching YouTube just like y'all. So, let's see what's going on with this situation, man. All right, gang. We're going to try to keep this real raw or edited as possible. You know what I'm saying? I can't promise I won't make no chops or, you know what I'm saying, none of that. Because yeah. it's not perfect. When they be making them chop, they be lying. I got a lot to explain and say or clear up or, you know what I'm saying, just talk about. And it's going to kind of be like, you know what I'm saying, a little clearing the air and update with me and kind of everything that's been going on in my relationship, etc. So, uh, by the way, y'all, this feels hella weird. Like, even me just setting up the camera, setting up the lights and everything, it just feels weird because I haven't recorded and done this, like, you know, in wow. months. Yeah. So, um, yeah, this kind of just feels weird. But anyway, um, yeah, I want to clear up some statements, some false accusations, some stuff that's been said that's not true, like people putting their own plot twists and stories together and you know, some people running with this and saying this and some people running with that saying that and yeah, I didn't get it from me or Tay, didn't get it. I don't know where people be getting this information from, where they be getting this stuff that, you know what I'm saying, be put out there, I don't really know. I'm gonna speak on some things, some stuff is meant between me and Tay, you know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, so let's go ahead and hop into this. So first thing y'all, I wanna clear y'all is some crazy false rumor about me moving to Atlanta and managing some YouTubers that I've worked with personally in my past. Um, that's not true, y'all, that's false. I actually tweeted and um, a supporter tweeted me back and said that that was being said by some T-Page. I don't, I don't know, y'all. But I just want to <laughs> let you guys know. Never listen to a T-Page, man. That shit be all cap. They they do that shit for strictly entertainment. Like, they make up stories so that y'all can come watch. Y'all, because they know y'all like drama. For me personally, I never said I moved to Atlanta. I never said I was managing this person, that person, and a third. That never came out of my mouth. Never been said by Jazz, never been said by me. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where that came from at all, y'all. Uh, the second thing I want to, like, you know what I'm saying, kind of clear up is the whole stage thing. Like, I seen someone where somebody, I don't know, man, somebody posted where me and Tay were staging the breakup. Bro, come on, man. Like, bro, I'm not finna. I am a content creator, you know what I'm saying, and I do do stuff for entertainment purposes, but come on, bro. I don't know where people be getting stuff from, man. Like, I wouldn't put my emotions in First there. Cut. I wouldn't put another person's emotions in there. I wouldn't put my supporters, our supporters' emotions in that, bro. Like, you don't even play around like that. Like, bro, like, this shit is real, bro. Like, shit got real. Shit get real. Like, bro. This is somebody's whole relationship. I know I run my relationship to YouTube, and you know what I'm saying? People gonna put their own opinions and intakes and stuff on that. But like, at the end of the day, we are two humans, you know what I'm saying? We not perfect, and that's just what it is. Like, it's nothing to be staged, y'all. People break up all the time. Things happen all the time, and people separate all the time. You know what I'm saying? It's life, it's, I don't know, I don't know, man. I'm not, that YouTuber, we are not those YouTubers who will stage a relationship breakup for some likes, cloud. That's just something else I wanted to clear up. Another thing I wanted to clear up is, oh no, a lot of people been saying like, um, my business page on Facebook is not real ever since like me and Tay broke up. They think the page is not real. The link is in the description down below y'all. This is my real Facebook, it was my real Facebook page before, uh, 
me and Tay even got together. It's just I work with a company, they're gonna post anything with me in it. If I'm in the video, they're gonna post it. So no matter who else in the video. Paige always been named Perfect Labs. It never changed even when our relationship, even when I changed the picture to me and Tay. All day, y'all, like, the page was named Perfect Labs. It never changed. That's, you know what I'm saying? That's that. That's my page, y'all. I just want to let you guys know that that is my official Facebook business page. You know what I'm saying? So, it's good. It's Gucci. I just want to let y'all know that that is really my account. It's not a fake page. You know what I'm saying? I do work with a company to post content on there, but it is my real page. You know what I'm saying? Um... Yeah, so moving forward, let's go ahead and move to the next thing. Let's go. Which is what, like, happened between me and Tay. A lot of people want to know why we broke up, why we separated, um, why she moved out, because I do live alone now, you know what I'm saying? Well, I don't live alone now, you know what I'm saying, but I don't live with Tay anymore. Uh, but I know you got to see that the center look different in this room. Got a new bag, got a new setup. A lot of people want to know what's the reason, why did we break up, what happened. You know how when you're like going through something, you still be like processing certain things and why certain things, you know what I'm saying, happened and et cetera. But um, y'all, like me and Tay, we, the whole year 2020, we were kind of like disconnected, mm -hmm. I'm going to be honest. Right. Let me tell y'all something though, for real, man, like, a relationship sometimes it does get rough like there is no such thing as a perfect relationship whether y'all like it or not you feel what i'm saying and i think y'all should just accept that and stop thinking everything is fake or staged because this is like actually like my first time really talking about it in a way like even when my parents you know found out and they seen what's going on and they reached out to me i just kind of kept it like at a you know like i'm good like, you know what I'm saying? Everything will be handled, you know, I'll figure everything out. Which I've always been that type of person, like, oh no, I just have a hard time, like, showcasing my emotions and really telling people, like, how I feel and et cetera. So, this is like, you know what I'm saying? Just bear with me, that's all I'm saying, just bear with me. So, basically, y'all, the whole 2020, me and Tay, we were basically kind of disconnected. Our communication was, totally like it was out of there man like it was shit like it was ass like we were not communicating the way that we should to in the way that we wanted to as a couple communication is key in any relationship bro if you have no communication bro like it can go to shits like you really have to learn how to communicate with others you know what i'm saying not only in a relationship but just in life period you gotta learn how to communicate because if you don't you won't be able to understand other people and what they're going through and what they want from you or what you want from them. You're not able to communicate that. So sometimes it get a little bit tricky. And I feel like back then I wasn't understanding enough because, you know, I'm going to be a bigger person. I'm going to be, you know, a bigger person and admit my wrongs and say when I was wrong. But you know what I'm saying? It took me to like December to look back at the entire year and really like look at things as a whole and like divide it, like damn, damn. Like maybe she was calling out for help. Maybe I did miss the signs. Because she had told me, you know, um, another thing that she was calling out for help the whole year and I was missing the signs and maybe I was, I was, you know what I'm saying? Um, I just wasn't hitting on to him until like, kind of the end of November, like, I was just like, something was off. I'm just like, bro, something is very much off. I'm like, everything just don't even feel the same. I'm like, we are not here. You know what I'm saying? We are not here. We are not here. Like, we will be good. It will work out for a week. And then we will be back in the same place for another two weeks, two weeks and a half. We'll talk it out. Everything go back to good. I would say I'll work on this and I'm gonna do this. And I guess to her, she wasn't seeing the progress. She wasn't seeing the change, how she wanted to see it. And I don't know if she wanted to see it immediately or she also tell me like, Yo, I'm, not, I'm not trying to see it immediately like, but I'm also not seeing any actions. So 
I just feel like I had a lot to work on. And then a day in December, she had like a little breakdown. And that's where she had made the post that you guys seen. And I didn't know nothing about the post. I didn't know nothing about the post at all until 11 o'clock that night when I personally had got on um, Instagram. And the great thing about it, like, I just, I don't know how I did not see it. Like, I just did not see it until that night. And that night when I seen it, man, I mean, it just, the argument just got worse. I just felt like you didn't talk to me before you had made that post. But she claimed she had been trying to reach out and been trying to call out for help. And basically that I was missing a sign. So that was her only way of letting out emotions. And you know what I'm saying? Um, I told her, you know, I understand. I was like, okay, after I actually sat down and thought and looked back on it, I was like, okay, understandable. But um, yeah, from there, we were trying to kind of like work on it. It wasn't working. Um, we were steady like withdrawing ourselves. We were disconnecting even more. And just with everything that was kind of like going on, everything that y'all understand, we are real people. We got real feelings, real shit was said. Like, you know what I'm saying? Real shit was, was yeah. said when you are arguing. Real feelings are put on the floor. Like real shit that you didn't know a year ago or feelings that you didn't know was there or said. So from some of the things that she had said, my heart, my mind, my body, I honestly, I, I just felt like I couldn't, like, I couldn't do it. Like, I just yeah. couldn't, like, I don't know. Something in me was just like, it's time to focus on yourself. You know what I'm saying? It's time to just put yourself 100% first. It's time to get back to you, like, you not even you like that's what my mom was telling me so i just knew that like us trying to work on a relationship right now when we really need to work on ourselves individually it wasn't going to work us staying in the same house while trying to do that even staying in different rooms and stuff it wasn't going to work we needed that separation we needed that space to grow like we need that space to grow individually and um that's something that i explained to her and she noticed, and yeah, that's basically when she decided. I ain't gonna lie. In the comments, I want to know: Do y'all believe in breaks in a relationship? Like, do you believe that you need a break? Cause my thing is, I don't believe that you should. I don't believe in breaks in a relationship. Like, if it's time to separate, if it's time to move on, it's time to move on. No hard feelings, but you know what I'm saying. Breaks is kind of like. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I want to I want a chance to go for other people to see if I really still love you like type shit. Like, nah, bro, like nah. You going about your business, I'm I going about my business. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no breaks. Now, nah, you know if we separate and you know down the line we, you know, start kicking it again and we rekindle and we come to an agreement and understanding then yeah, but a break? Nah. Um, tourists kind of the middle end of December to get her own place and that's where that had came from and man, I'm still like processing a lot of this y'all so if you hear me saying like a lot of just man and I'm still processing it because it's kind of like the first time it actually came out my mouth this is the first time like I told y'all I be talking to my parents I don't want to talk I ain't talking to my own family about it like I'm just a real like I keep it I keep everything in type of person. Like I keep everything in like to deal with it by myself on that Libra. Like, yeah. Mm. That's what happened with that. Like nobody stepped out, nobody did no real crazy. Man, I don't know what the hell y'all was thinking. I ain't gonna lie, I heard you cheated. I ain't gonna lie, that's what I heard. Now did you? I don't know, but you saying you didn't, but I heard you cheated. Okay. Stuff happened with relationships and sometimes People grow apart, people disconnect. Sometimes shit happens. That's that's relationships, you know what I'm saying? And I just feel like we've been together for three years. I've literally been with that girl since I came to Houston. I stepped foot in Houston and I saw her and I I just can nobody like tell me to not fuck with her. Like can nobody tell me to not like mess with Tate. Like that was like that was my baby, like that was for real, like, couldn't nobody tell me not to mess with her, you know what I'm saying? And 
Yeah, man. I just feel like she been with me since she was 18. She finna be 22. I've been with her since I was 20. You know what I'm saying? I just turned 24. And we just never had that space. We never not been about each other. Like, I met that girl. Like, that girl moved in. Like, we be down here. You know what I'm saying? Like, immediately. Like, we started hanging out. And it was us. Like, I was, you know what I'm saying? We wasn't going nowhere. And... I love. Everything moved fast, and we never ever had that separation. We never had that time to grow in those younger times like that in our life. And I told her, like, right now, we just need that time to grow and both get our mind right. I don't want to be the reason why somebody feeling drained. I don't want to be the reason why somebody feeling unhappy. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want to feel any type of way my damn self because I was just feeling a place where I just was not right you know what i'm saying like right now i'm feeling way much better that actually happened at the beginning of december where we had separated it's going to be february um i'm no i'm definitely at a better mindset i'm definitely at a different healing stage um i've accepted a lot of different things i've accepted reality and that's one of the things i had to do within this process is split my reality from my heart you know what I'm saying? I had to split them. I had to take away what my heart really wanted and put the reality out there because I knew we could keep trying, we could keep doing this, but we just kept falling into the same something. Sometimes your heart wants you to do one thing, but it's not best for you. You feel what I'm saying? You have to use your mind. You feel what I'm saying? Sometimes your heart can trick you. Use your mind. Think, think, think. Like, you know what I'm saying? <coughs> Being happy for a week, a week and a half wasn't going to cut it just for us to go back in the same sunken place. And I just wanted to let you guys know that we weren't perfect and we aren't perfect and we still don't make mistakes and we still are growing. We still are young adults. We still have a whole lifetime ahead of us. And I just want to let you guys know there is no bad blood between me and Tay. You know what I'm saying? We are cordial. Um, I wish nothing but the best for her. I wish her success. My job now, man. I'm about to do a reaction to Terry reacting to this. So if those stories don't add up, you know I'm calling it out. So I wish her success on her YouTube journey, on her business journey, on anything she want to do in life. I wish her nothing but the best. I want her to succeed. I want her to grow. I want nothing but happiness for her. And to my supporters and to our supporters, thank you guys for supporting me and Tay on that journey. Thank you guys for coming with me, for you know being there for me, changing my vlog channel to a couple's channel, watching that journey, supporting me through that journey. And I just want to say thank you guys so much. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to make bump content. Without you guys, I just want to say a lot would not have happened in my life that happened without you know what I'm saying my perfect squad man without you guys that supported me and Tay and I just want to say thank you like from the bottom of my heart thank you thank you for all the DMs thank you for all the tweets thank you for everybody who checked up on me thank you for everybody who reached out thank you thank you like from the bottom of my heart y'all like I really do appreciate it like I really felt the love and I really feel like the support thank you thank you thank you thank you i know y'all been truly waiting on this video um i just really wanted to wait till the right time i didn't want to come on here out of hurt out of anger say and move wrong i really wanted to wait till my mind and my body really told me to sit down in front of this camera Real and shit. Shit. so that's that's where i wanted to move with that that's how i wanted to move with that and um yeah since then uh I've been, you know, really getting my mental together, getting content ideas together, getting what I want to do. Um, I've been remodeling the house. I kind of got like a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff out of here. Actually, I'm going to show y'all, you know what I'm saying? Since we're here right now, gang, um, let me zoom this boy out for y'all real quick. This is my room right now. Now, y'all didn't ever get to meet Cash, but we got Cash in October. I kept Cash and Tate kept Lou. So, uh, yeah. This is my room right now. I know y'all remember the bed actually being on that side, but now I got a TV That's on a nice that setup. side. And y'all already know your girlfriend really get on the game. And I told y'all, I told y'all, bro. Like I told, like bro, why my stuff turn off? I don't know why it turn off. But I told y'all, gang, like we really finna, you feel me? Get on the. <laughs> RP, yeah. you know what I'm saying? We finna really get on that game. Y'all know blue my favorite color. That's why I went with blue with the bed. You know what I'm saying? So she went from straight what happened between me and Tate to straight vlogging. Oh, like, 
Do y'all want? I'm gonna watch the rest and of the vlog. I'm gonna support. I'm gonna support. I'm gonna support. We're gonna watch the vlog. Like everything of Taze is going out of here. Also, like she is fully moved out. It's Damn. Side, you know what I'm saying? I got some of my shoe boxes and stuff up there, but I haven't really moved none of my clothes to that side yet. I still got a lot to get done in this room. Like I got a mirror coming and stuff. Like I don't know if you guys like want a full house tour when I'm fully done. Like y'all, let me know that. Here go the living room. Put the TV on the wall. It was right there. Um, you know what I'm saying? Just got this built, so it's not like all cleaned up and stuff. You no, know, got the rug. Y'all know I like black, so you know what I'm saying kind of match black with anything. So that's kind of my, you know, flavor on that. I've been having some time on my hands, so you know what I'm saying. I've been making me some stuff, some artwork to put up around the crib. Y'all know I love music, so I just thought that this would be dope. I made these from uh, Walmart. You know what I'm saying? Still got some more to make. But, you know, I'm just showing y'all what I've been doing with my time. You know what I'm saying? Just want y'all to check me out. Um, kitchen still look the same. I'm actually going to get something to go there. But I just haven't yet. I'm working on one room at a time. Uh, oh, yeah. Let me show y'all in here. Let me turn some lights on for y'all. Boxes. I got a whole bunch of trash, y'all. Like, I've been redoing the whole house. Like, as you guys can see, it's just trash Trying everywhere. Trying to clean out that so, bad energy. I know y'all remember what this room looked like. I'm not sure if you guys did. There we go. You know what I'm saying? I had to turn that red light off. But uh, I'm going to start a little video of what this area kind of looked like before I had redecorated it a little bit. I'm kind of not done. Still got some stuff to, you know what I'm saying, do in here. But, uh, yeah. Here look this nice. Area look nice. Here. You know what I'm saying? We're going to go upstairs with it because i also been, um redecorating up here and redoing stuff up here because like I told y'all I don't live alone no more you know what I'm saying I got two of the homies that stay with me that's also gonna be shooting some content and stuff with me so you know what I'm saying look you know what I'm saying got some stuff prepared you know what I'm saying but uh here go this room let me you know show y'all where I'm coming from upstairs boom here go this room right here it's the homie room you know what I'm saying gang gang bro got the calls in here so he hard. We all trying to get on the game and flow. So you know what I'm saying? Hey, y'all gonna have to mess with us, man, on the servers, man. Let's go in here. Oh, yeah, we're doing this too. It's just kind of like a whole bunch of trash and stuff right now, y'all. Like, it is not together, like, at all. I did buy this, which is pretty cool. But you know what I'm saying? I still gotta get, like, the foundation of what I'm kind of doing up here. I did get yeah, this built that too. That look new. like trash right but, now. You know what I'm saying? It's still that. coming together. This room over here is also one of the homies' room. You know what I'm saying? That's nice. You know what I'm saying? Nice. We're doing a lot of redecorating and redoing stuff, man. Still got a lot to work on, but this is what I've been doing with a lot of my time. This room right here is the studio room, like the actual recording music studio room. Like, you know what I'm saying? My other video recording studio room is downstairs. This was the regular video recording room, but I moved that to like the business room downstairs. So I actually turned this one into, you know what I'm saying? The studio, this is a day bed. It got to get put up, bro. I just been, you know what I'm saying? Haven't made it to this one yet because it just came in like a day ago. We broke down, you know what I'm saying? We broke down the box and stuff like that, but I'm gonna put that over here. So yeah, that's that. And I'm actually just gonna show y'all that when I'm done, but like, let me. Why are you putting the bed in a studio room, though? That's what I'm trying to figure out. You know, if you guys want like a full little house tour when I'm done, you know what I'm saying? Redecorating and putting my own touch and style and flavor on this joint. Because, you know what I'm saying? Look, y'all see, girl, got flavor. Like, look at the candles, you know what I'm saying? Look, look at my vibe. You know, I'm, I'm getting it together. Y'all see what I'm trying to do? Y'all see the vibe? But yeah, I just want to hop on here and talk to you guys and update you guys. And really just have a little heart to heart with my gang. Just wanted to show you guys what I've been doing and update you guys in my life. New content, new videos, new faces. It's 2021, man. We grinding, we grinding, we grinding. We not letting up this year at all. You know what I'm saying? I just want to let you guys know that I love you guys. Thank you guys for supporting me. Continue to support your girl. Like, we just finna go hard. We finna, we finna go up. We finna drop them bangers. Like, no kizzy. We finna drop them bangers. Like, listen to me. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for watching, man. It seems like, you know, she gave us a brief, like a real brief. You feel what I'm saying? Um, I'm about to go watch Tay reaction. You know what I'm saying? I know Tay a little hothead, so she going she gonna to spill the tea. Let's go over to Tay. But um, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, man. Make sure y'all like. Make sure y'all leave a comment on what videos you want me to react to. We out, gang.